hello everyone good morning so today today video is the extensions of our, of my last video so in last video i created a video on how to upload a file and uh, how we can attach that uploaded file to any case existing case in pega or how we can use the same file while creating a case okay so then multiple comment i received on my youtube channel is that how we can send that file from pega okay so uh, in the last video i showed that okay from the postman we are sending to pega or any application so postman provide an options okay like upload a file um, I'll, I'll show you it's easy options okay you can just choose the type file and upload it and it will go okay but how we can do it from the um, the pega okay so here uh, like I, i'll discuss about the dx api but this use case can be utilized in multiple uh, like when, whenever we are whenever we want to send any file to any external system okay so let's say one is one example is that uh, we already have a dx api okay which creates the file okay so the the api which i'm calling from postman same i'll call from my applications only so basically calling from one peg applications to another peg applications and sending the file okay as a request okay so this is one example uh, let's say in place of another applications you have some um, enterprise content management system or file net or any like um, file repository system where you want to send a file so you need to follow the same path okay what i'll be showing okay so just i'm using the pega api because i don't have a, a file net api or ecm api okay so the concept is same okay everywhere the same concept can be used okay so let's go and see that okay so this is what i was showing first okay that in uh, postman we have an options to upload file see simply we are giving a content so this is the api which i was showing right so let me remove and show you so this is the api which i was showing that it's taking a file okay and creating an attachment in pega and then that attachment can be attached to any case okay but how this can be achieved okay in the pega so this api in place of this api you can have in your real time example you can have a file net api enterprise content management system api or any other system api so the main question is how we can send this this file okay so let me run and we can see that okay so we got a new document id and where pega stores this one okay so so there is a temporary file so here it is coming okay so if you see uh, like data work attached file we know right so data work attached file instances um gets attached to any case that's where the document gets at, uh, stored okay if it is temp okay so that means it will come here okay so now how we can do that okay so let's uh, go step by steps that how we can send the same okay so let's say the same api which i'm calling from here okay i'll call from my applications so just think that okay like uh, i'll call from the pega only okay so uh, to another application just think that i'll call, call i'll be calling to another pega application okay but as i said right uh, in place of this api you can use any api so the first things what we will do okay even though it's a dx api okay we have to consume okay and my source and destination system is same okay um, because I, I don't have any another uh, pega applications but yeah i'll be using that endpoint url so the, the the first things which we need to do is we need to consume that okay so to consume we can go to integration integration connector integration mapping where is that services sorry sorry integrations and we'll go to rest integrations okay and then i'm just showing you i'll not do that okay because i have already consumed it okay so i'll i'll show you the steps till end so i'll just take this one put that endpoint url let's say we'll say file file upload click next we don't have to do anything here and in the post this is the post method so we'll say file upload again okay and then we'll click next and here um, there is no request okay I'll, I'll talk about the request later okay you can just add one response file and then response file will be this one okay if you are using the pega dx api if you are consuming any other one then you need to upload their response file so you can just save as this one as json and upload it okay and click next and then here it's it's a giving that okay so you can create a um, uh, integrations and data layer okay so i'll be showing i have already created okay so that is where i'm not going to recreate that one okay so let's close this one so this is a simple app i've showed these things in, in multiple videos right how to kind of a 
consume that any API. So this is the data page which I have already created and this is my REST connector. Okay, so in REST connector, I have given that endpoint URL. Okay, and then uh, if I go to the method, I'm using post. Okay. So in post method, uh, there is nothing in request. Okay, but in response, sorry, in this one, post there's nothing in response you can say that i'm not mapping so i'll show you how to send that one but in response okay i've given response underscore post okay so pega will automatically create that uh, this id because you need to map that id in response right so that pega will automatically do that so nothing more than that in this connect rest one important thing is that you need to create a auth authentications profile obviously if you're using any system right okay uh, then you need to create authentications profile so as i'm using the pega dx api only using the basic authentications i have created the authentications profile of basic okay and here i've given the admin and the password okay it's like pega user id and password if you are using any other let's say if i'll give right auth1 and try to create if you want to use any other one right or 2.0 or anything you can use that one depending on your your api okay but here again i'm saying it's a dx api so just using the basic one so that that you need to do that otherwise it will fail an authorization now coming to the request and response okay so first i'll show you the response okay so in response nothing just one id we are mapping okay because in the response right this is just returning one field id so that's it now let's let's talk about okay the request okay and how we can use it so let's talk about our use case okay that i have a case okay so let me create a case let's say so this is how it happens most of the time right so i'll create a case now i created a case now the requirement is that i'll attach a document here let's say you can say file or what I'll be doing, I'll can, what I can do, I can use existing case. So let me open existing case. I'll use existing case. So let me use the 009. It has already a document. Okay. So let's say this is the case, okay, which you're working and eventually you want to send this document to enterprise content management system or to another system. Okay. Because the document first, the document should be available in Pega, right? And then you want to send sometimes you want to say you don't want to upload itself in pega so that time the the use case or that implementations will be a little different okay so you need to customize the pega upload whole chain of uh, like activities and and do that okay but here let's say your file is already exists in pega and you want to send this one to another system to pega system or to another system so how we can do that okay so for this one what i have done i have written a data transform okay and so just think that this is the integrations layer data page okay and this is my applications layer data transform so this this upload file data transform is responsible to take the data from my case and send it to another system okay so this is the uh, this data transform will perform the whole thing so the first things which i'm doing is that in px link ref from okay so i'm just putting the pgdns key of my case okay or whatever the case you have you can do it parameterized and then calling this d underscore attachment list so d underscore attachment list is a out of the box data page what it does it it okay it will load all the attachments related to that case okay so if i see 009 and go to the thread in data pages i'll find that see so it's it's loaded okay so there is one attachment so i can see that one okay so it's from the link attachment so this instance is from the link at attachment so here we will not get the file name a uh, file mime type and the file stream okay because the file stores in data attach data work attached file not in link attachment but here we got the uh, the number of uh, files okay in this data page so from this one what i'm doing here is that i'm trying to call d underscore attachment list now it got loaded now what i have to do i have to so first this got loaded now i'm looping on this one d underscore attachment list okay so fetch list of document for any case done then second d underscore i'm looping on that one and then kind of a creating uh two setting two parameter for this one so d underscore gate attachment details there's another data page which i have created so let me show you let me open that data page sorry 
So this will basically open each instances of data worker as file. So if you see this takes okay px ref object key and px attach key and this is nothing but but the class key of data worker as file because it's a lookup okay so what it will do it will open the instances okay of data worker as file so in short basically it will do this data worker as file so if I click here, so it will open this one. So you can see whole things on that page. Okay. Because what we are looking is to send any file from Pega to any external systems. We need the attach stream. So this is basically this value and attach key. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, attach name. So somewhere we will have the mime type and the name also. So we can see that uh, here somewhere. I'll, um, let me search name. Yeah, so you can see that px at px attached name and then somewhere we will have the mime type as well. Let's me search mime. See this one py, py attached mime. So this is the three attribute which will be uh, taking from that page. Okay, so now let's come back again to this one. So we are setting two parameter for this data page. Now this data page will load each open each document okay so from data work touch file now from that one i showed three property right so we are again setting in the parameter py attach streams so if you see here py attach stream so i'm setting in a parameter py attach stream and then py attach name px attach name so i'm setting in px attach name and then setting in py attach mime type okay so this is what i'm setting mime type so this is looping so let's say in your case you have a three document and you want to send all so you can do it in loop so this implementation okay this data transfer implementations you can do by your own way this is just i set up a kind of a one walking example okay now in the end i'm calling d underscore file upload okay so now what i'm doing so this d underscore file upload is taking three parameter py attach stream py attach name and py attach mime type okay so this is where the important things okay so this data page is three, taking three parameter and in the request data transform what i have done is i'm creating so this is where okay the the magic happens okay so what happens is the py request attachment page so you need to create this page okay of which class data service masses data service masses and you need to set this three parameter okay py attach name and this is a value list so you need to say that at least one py attach values and py attach types if you want to read more okay here you can see that right so what happened is that Pega platform invokes REST or SOAP connector, okay, and then REST or SOAP connectors finds PY requester attachment page. So Pega in the like back and written a code, okay, to check that, okay, you want to, with this request, you want to send any attachment, okay, and how Pega checks is Pega look for this page, PY request attachment page, okay, and if Pega finds that, then creates outgoing masses formatted as a multi-part masses, okay. So whenever Pega finds this page, okay, on the clipboard, then it will try to send that that message is a multi-part message and which basically that is our document okay so this is what i have done here in the request at uh, data transform if you want you can like this kind of a things you can do it anywhere so that page should exist okay so if you want you can do it here as well so you can see that i have commented so you can do it here as well no problem so it all depends how you are implementing but we need to set that three parameter in the request data transform which is important and that's it okay if you are done with this one and then when you call your service it will work okay so let's try let's run and and see that if it is working or not okay so if you see in the temporary one basically i'll be creating in the temporary one so we have a two document okay and now my source and destination is same okay so i'll be calling okay uh, that upload uh, that this one this data transform and that it will create another file here so basically i uploaded a file okay so now let's let's try, try to run a data, this one okay and i'll show you each step that what is happening so let's execute it so i did that now if i come the first things we will verify see one extra document came okay and now as i said let me explain you the whole tracer so the first things it did is that it loaded the d underscore attachment list okay for that case okay so eventually uh, once that will be finished we'll see that okay so there is you can see that d underscore attachment list is only one result okay px result count because my case has only one document now the next things we, which we are doing is that opening that each file okay so d underscore attachment page uh, somewhere we can see that d underscore attachment page details you can see that okay so i'm loading 
and the entire it's like obj open okay so we got the entire details and this is what we were looking px attach stream and then the mime type somewhere it was here and then attach name px attach name so these three things i'm setting next in the parameters so you can see that in the parameter and then calling my d underscore file upload data page which is a uh, which is calling extra uh, like connector okay and then in the request data transform okay i'm setting this py request attachment page so you can see that in py request attachment page setting these three things py attach names we attach types and then py attach values okay and done and and that's it this is the magic okay so in the what happens okay pega have written the code okay in their integrations code so like invoke right you can see that in internally that if this page exists okay then create a multi-part message and send it so that you don't have to do what you need to do is just set your values on py request attachment page and that's it okay uh, nothing you have to do okay so it will automatically do that now let's see that the file id came or not so you can see that the file id came here now let's say if you want to attach okay so this is just like kind of this end okay the, whatever the, we were talking about the use case but what if we want to attach this document to any existing case so that also i can quickly show you so let's say this is my id right and three once i'll be use it uh, as i said in the last video that it will get deleted from the temporary file and it will go to the data work attached file okay so let's let's see that so i created a 10 case number let me try to attach to that case okay so here i already had that right or or let's say create case using attachment i already have this request prepared so i'll just upload up, update this one and create so case got created 11 okay let's rephrase this one see that is gone okay and if i see new team work so 11 came and it should have one file see so, so this is the end to end okay i showed you that how we can call external system okay and send a file as a, a like request okay that was the goal of this video okay and also i showed it how we can use it okay so if i revise right so the main Im and the most important things which you want to do is okay which you have to do is you need to set this page on this page you need to set three parameters okay p y attach name p y attach value and type types okay now to to bring this value i kind of wrote the data transform and and i'm opening from pega existing uh, like from any existing file and taking and sending to external system okay if you want to if you don't want to attach in pega and you want to do it in a different way so uh, pega has that activity okay you can set this at, uh, two things and then using java you can get that attach a stream and send it to the other system so that's it for this video okay uh, please watch and and do let me know if you need any help i i can definitely help with that but if you follow this the video whatever i, I showed it will definitely work for you so that's it thank you thank you very much have a good day bye